I don't know about you, but I've got years and years and years of old data sitting on databases, sitting in, in file structures on our servers, and all this data needs to be reapplied for, for explicit consent. Explicit consent means you've got to go and ask them, that person that you're holding the records for, the personal data records only, why you want the data, what are you going to use the data for, where are you going to store it, and how are you going to protect it. Not only must all the data be stored in the EU, but let's talk about your website. So, you know, before you had the tick box in, the, you know, sign up newsletter and the tick box was already there. Uh -uh. That now needs to be removed and people have to manually tick the box if they want to sign up for a newsletter. If you have any correspondence, newsletters that you're sending out, you have to go back to all those people that's currently on your database and ask them to re-opt in. You've got to do this before the 25th of May next year 2018 this is probably the easiest way that you'll get busted because if you send people unwanted emails or unwanted phone calls and you've got their personal data it just takes one email from them sent to the ICO and then you're gonna be potentially inspected and remember the fine is between two to four percent of your annual turnover of the entire company worldwide there are a few things you can do about it the first thing I recommend you do is clean out your database. Because if you've got Canada Records that's been there for years and years and years and you've never heard of it, who knows if they're still alive? So go through them and start cleaning up step by step all the old candidates that you haven't spoken to for maybe a year or two years, depending on your sector. I highly recommend that you also take out cyber insurance. And a lot of the cyber insurance policies are based on how many records you have. So of course, Get your database cleaned up and your insurance premiums will come down. The other thing you can do is to go into your email database, the system that you use, and email every single person that you've got on file or have personal data of and say, hey, would you like us still to recruit or find jobs for you? And if, if you do, then please make sure that you opt in on this page below. And that way, at least you've bought the right for another six months or a year. But you could potentially use this as a, a marketing tool to say, mm, look at us, we're already GDPR compliant because this is our process. And finally, remember to contact all your third party suppliers and make sure that they are GDPR compliant. And even more importantly, that all your data is stored within EU, all the data that you end up keeping.